and why do we not attempt to capture economic income in financial reporting? Economic income, as defined by our book, is the net cash flows plus a change in present value or market value of a firm. Economic income also recognizes all gains and losses, whether they are realized or unrealized. The easiest way to think about economic income is through an example. Say that you bought a stock at the beginning of the year for $10 and at the end of the year it is $15. Under economic income, we would recognize a $5 gain, but under our current accounting income, we only recognized realized gains and losses, so we would still value the stock at $10. The second question is why do we not attempt to capture economic income in financial reporting? We don't attempt to capture economic income in financial reporting because of the volatility in the market. If you think back to the stock example, it does not matter what the unrealized gain or loss is because it is constantly changing. Investors will likely not care what the stock is doing at any point in time because they will not be affected until the stock is sold and the gain or loss becomes realized. It is said that we have an efficient market. An efficient market does not require that the market price be equal to true value at every point in time. So it does not matter if we, rec if we were to recognize the $5 gain at the end of the year, as long as the errors in the market price are unbiased. And the last thing to note is that even though we have an efficient market, it will never be completely efficient. So how we account for income currently is the best way to serve the investors.